director of Dermaface MD Skincare and Aerospace MD Skin Tools. Botox clinics for probably 12 or 13 years. So much so they call me Dr. Botox. Here's five things that I wouldn't do to my face if I was giving advice as Dr. Botox. Number one, I wouldn't get filler in the tip of my nose. I'll tell you why. Filler in the tip of your nose, the nerves to be blocked or occluded and can cause the tip of your nose to actually die, become black. Number two, people are gonna come for me, I would say. No slugging, so don't put Vaseline or Aqua 4. Number one, it changes the pH of your skincare. Number two, it changes the dynamic of your actual product. It can also cause acne by blocking pores, but this is a big debate, so to slug or not to slug. Number three, I wouldn't get tear trough filler. As we age, we get loss of volume in this area and loss of volume in the malar fat pad area. It's far more beneficial to have filler injected along this malar fat pad area, perpendicular 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and massaged up. The other problem with having tear trough filler is sometimes it can be quite see-through in this area. The skin is very thin and you'll see that blue hue, which is known as the Tyndall effect, which is not a good look. Also a DDS, so I wouldn't get gum surgery if you have a gummy smile. If you have a gummy smile and you smile and the elevator muscles lift everything up it's very simple two or three units of Botox either side will stop that over lifting up and it's much easier periodontists will try and sell you gum surgery $30,000 and honestly $300 worth of Botox injected correctly by a good practitioner will sort out all your problems next up don't get Radi S injected into your lips Radi S is a calcium hydroxide so it's quite like bone so Radi S is great for along the jawline because it'll join to bone it's great for a chin if you somebody who's a chin that's quite pulled back obviously if it's extremely pulled back you'll need maxillofacial surgery and orthodontics and a lot of care from both the max facts people and the dental people but if you've just got a chin that's a little bit pulled back or a jawline that's a little I suppose short of where you want it to be. Calcium hydroxide such as Radi S is excellent. However, calcium hydroxide, Radi S in your lips is not a good idea. And next, stop with the face rollers. You roll them into your face, you put them back in a dirty plastic thing, you use them again, they're just rolling bacteria into your face. Stop using these, please, I beg of you. Okay, that's all with lots of love from me, Dr. Danielle Mark Collins, Clinical Director of Derma Face MD.